if there is one thing that every single company has, it's an image library. All of the stock pictures you get, all your different logos, all the things that you use in PowerPoints are probably in a document library in SharePoint. The other truth is that, unfortunately, it probably looks like this one. Uh, it has the name of wherever you downloaded, an ugly ID, and finding stuff inside is impossible. Well, of course, putting those images in SharePoint is a good idea. You're also supposed to tag what they're about because if you don't tag them properly, it can be impossible to search to find the right image. You might spend money to buy images that you already own just because you're not able to find the image that you wanted. And even worse, that $30 per user per month that you spend for Copilot, when people want to add images in PowerPoint, it might return bad results, getting people mad not only at IT, but also at Copilot. Imagine if you could make all your images searchable based on automatic tags. Wouldn't that be awesome? With the image tagger part of SharePoint Content AI, you can now extract information and text from images. And not only will it make it searchable, like you see over here where I search for group and I actually have a result, but also Microsoft now allows you to connect Copilot to your organizational asset library. And don't just listen to me, look at the documentation. One of the things that can go wrong is insufficient tagging. If you have tags on the images, Copilot can actually understand them and provide you better results to your users, whether they are in the new Create app or in PowerPoint. And did I mention it takes only three clicks to do? And it's almost free. I want to call it free. There is a cost, but it's almost free. Welcome back, everyone, to the Ultimate SharePoint Content AI series. In this episode, we will talk about image tagging, and I'm joined by my good friend, Microsoft MVP, RD, MCT, and I cannot say all of the titles, Gokan Chifchi. Yeah. I don't think there is enough place on the screen for all of your yeah. titles. Gokan, I feel like we have talked together in this series so much about extraction, and there are different ways to do it, all of them with different complication levels. But the difference for this one is that it's made specifically for images. One more slide, and for those of you that know Gokan, you know how much he hates slides. He almost fell asleep with just the five slides I had. He's more of a demo man. But one more slide, and we're going to the demo, Gokan, I promise, okay? okay. <laughs> the only thing you need to have before you're able to do what I'm doing in the demo right now is you must have pay-as-you-go billing set up. Image tagging must be turned on either for all the sites in the tenant or, or for the SharePoint site that you are using. And if ever you have no idea what to do that, episode three in this series is dedicated on how to configure pay-as-you-go billing, how to properly activate content AI services, and you'll have a link to that episode in the description below. Okay, promise no more slides. Let's go to the demo. So because I want to make, I really want to show you how easy it is. I will go to a brand new SharePoint site here again. I'll just refresh it to show you I didn't do anything. I'll open up a new document library. Let's go to blank library here and call it a stock images. As an example, uh, nothing else. Let's just click on create. Awesome, we'll give it a few seconds over here. And after that, we need to enable the image tagger on this library. It's not something that is done by default. Uh, and it's really important to enable it as soon as possible. I'll tell you why in a few seconds, but enable it as soon as you know you're gonna want to use it. You simply go into three docs over here, then under automate, you click on configure image tagger. You do one click over here, do you want to ena enable the image tagger on this library? Enable, and then that's it. So, one, two, three clicks indeed, no more. One, 
click because this is not a click. Then Two. the second and then the third. This is so I told you, it's, it's perfect. Three clicks. <laughs> so you see now it added this column over here called image tags. What I can, what I'm going to do now is you see, I have a bunch of Shutterstock images here. Uh, some of them didn't download. So I'll just skip those one. I'll upload all of the rest. We are on conference Wi-Fi right now. So you know what? And you know how stock images are when you download them from a, a professional website. They're all like 40 megs each because of why not? They're like in super high definition. So while this is done, let me go back to the slides a bit. Go, can you don't mind? Uh, okay. Off. Let me go back to the slides a bit and cover some of the details. Uh, Gokan, I know you are a photographer. I love taking pictures, but I have no idea from all those <laughs> formats you're showing me on screen now. Uh, basically, a lot of formats are supported. Mm -hmm. I think that is the short version. And what I really love about this is that you have the consumer formats, if I can call it like this. So the JPEG, PMG, uh, TIFF, the high uh, efficiency ones, things like that. But it also supports raw camera formats. So if you have a dedicated photographer inside your organization, which many people do in marketing and communications, you can upload the raw image files and then those can also get tagged. A, a few things to know. It will take a Microsoft Minute for everything to be done. And for those of you that watch the series, you know what a Microsoft Minute is, is Anywhere between five minutes and 24 hours. Uh, Gokan, I think you sacrificed the SharePoint site before we started recording. Yeah. This way it's more towards the five minutes. Uh, so hopefully it will be a bit faster, but don't worry, especially if you upload like a thousand of them at a time, it might take up to 24 hours, but it's not like you have to watch it do it, right? You can go to other stuff. That's the beauty of it. You can then edit the tags. So you're not locked in. It will give you a starting point. And after that, you can just go in and edit the tags, add the things that you know are missing. Humans are still needed. We are not uh, completely replaced yet. Also something that is amazing, the information from the image metadata. So we know a lot of photographers add metadata inside of the image will be copied over to that new column. So if somebody already did that effort to do it, it's not wasted. Now, Gokan, I know we have this problem with many other things. Uh, we have it with uh, OCR. We have it with, uh, what else did you cover? With taxonomy like tagging, AI uh, models. with AI models. Only images added after the feature is enabled are processed. I wish they changed that. I wish they enabled us like autofill columns to just click on it and process it. But this is why I told you a few minutes ago, as soon as you know you want to use this feature in the library, enable it because you don't want to upload a ton of images and then regret it after, have to remove them, re-add them and all of that. It's, it's not fun. Um, and the image tags column is actually a managed metadata column. So that is quite cool. I talked about autofill columns, but uh, you can also combine them. What if I can combine it with image tagger to do a summary of the image or to describe it in a way that is accessible for people? So hopefully I did enough slides. Do you think it uploaded yet? I think so, yeah. Okay, it uploaded. Mm. Uh, almost all of them uploaded. I do not have any image tags yet. so. It might take a bit of time. The thing that is also a bit, I, know, I like it a bit less about image tags is you don't have the, uh, the processing status. Uh, one of them wasn't uploaded. It's okay. We have enough demos here. Uh, probably a network issue or something like that. Uh, but you don't have a processing status column, which I don't know about you, but... That, that's a general thing with, with content AI. Like if we talk about taxonomy tagging, image tagging, AI models. Like even autofill, we miss that piece of showing us what's going on. Like, what do I wait? Like, is it doing something? <clears throat> autofill has that column with yeah. in progress. Thing. That's a good step. 
And I know Microsoft is also working to have that status bar, but we need it. Like now I have no idea what's going on. Right? Yeah. As an admin, I hate not knowing, you know? <laughs> Let me do a quick refresh because I don't like to see the red at the bottom. Okay, you didn't do it yet. Meanwhile, let's try to combine a bit with autofill. And uh, for those of you that are new to the series, this is the first episode you see. We did a full episode on autofill. It's an amazing functionality. So if you like what I'm going to do really quick here, make sure you watch that episode because you're going to love it. So I will call it accessibility. I probably spelled, okay, Chrome didn't tell me I spelled this wrong. Here, let me go to autofill and I'll give it the prompt. Describe this image for someone who cannot see it. Let's click on text. No, the suggested prompt here was not the best one. Let's click on result over here. This document contains a calendar for December and January with various appointments. Wow, let me pick another one here. Let's just do a test. I love how detailed. Yeah, but I really want to see that image. Like, is, is uh, really, I think is, it was the first one. Yeah. Here, right? Like, yeah, it was like, the first one over here. Uh, let me save it. Yeah. And no. then save over here. You see, I was able to talk enough <laughs> to make it work, but let's show you the image that it had. Uh, it said it had a calendar with calendar certain ready. appointments yeah. on it and everything. Uh, we're just going to let the conference Wi-Fi do its thing and open the image. If not, what is the ID? One to five here. Uh, I'll try to find it based on the description. Uh, is it this one? One to five. Oh, my gosh. Is it this? Let me go here. December and January, December yeah. December and January. Oh, my God. So it was able to go there with wow. various appointments. That description was amazing. That is amazing. Anyway, uh, go back here. Let me do a quick refresh for good luck. You see, this one got processed first. I'm not sure if me kicking off autofill on it had anything to do with it or not. Uh, but again, it's normal. It can take five minutes to 24 hours. But... You see, it gave me the image tags here. Date, software, screen, office, working hours, communication, event. And it will take a bit of time. But here, if I do events, I'm not sure it's going to work yet. It did. It's in the index. So, so I can search for events. I can search for here. Uh, I can search here for screen. I want an image with a screen. And now I'm able to find this. And again... Not only me, Copilot, your agents as well, because you now have this metadata over here. Gokun, I want to do a test. I want to go back here to accessibility. I want to see if I do a test with autofill columns, will it kick off the image tagger? Do you think that's going to work? Let's try it. Go on the second one. Let's go on the second one. Let's do a test. I wonder if that forces to process it and it uses the same in the back. If it does, I just found a brand new way to demo it faster. So it did. Okay, so wow. Okay. Values, JPEG. Okay, last month from the lock. Oh, I'll save get... it, save it. Or yeah. no, it was just luck. It, yeah. It was just luck. <laughs> <laughs> That's the fun about doing live demos. Uh, you get to test things, you know what works, what doesn't. Uh, we are not necessarily going to wait for everything yeah. to work. Uh, you see it here it worked uh, for one of them, and the rest of them are going to appear in the future again. It can take up to 24 hours, especially that I uploaded a few of them at the same time. Uh, but at the beginning of the video, I told you it's almost free, and I did not lie to you. How much does it cost, Goken? Peanuts or 0 0.0001 or something like that. There we go. 0 0.01. So that is a tenth yeah. of a cent in USD. Uh, so how much is the work to do this by hand? It's, it's, it's not worth to not enable this. And each processed image counts as one counts. transaction. So it's really easy. Think of it as each, you a need 100 images. A thousand. A thousand images to cost you one dollar. Enable it. 
There's no reason for you not to enable it. What we're gonna do is we're gonna add the image or the screenshot, and you're gonna see how long ago the image was modified. So this will give you all a realistic good time on how much it took for everything to be here. But Goken, anything else you want to add about the image tagger? As a conclusion, as Vlad said, it would be crazy to not use it for all the advantages you get compared to the price. It's like, you have to use it. That's as a conclusion, I would say, um, for that video. Awesome. Well, for all of you, if you have enjoyed this video, make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel. And if you want more ways to use AI in SharePoint, uh, make sure you check out the rest of the videos in the series. You'll have the next one appear on your screen right about now. And again, we have about 17 episodes in this series. Some of them might not be out yet. Make sure you hit that subscribe button to get notified as soon as they come out. And see you in the next one.